Hey everyone. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to show how to duplicate the SD card that's inside of your Spike system. That's KISS uh, WWE Wrestling. Um, I believe that's it. I believe it's only those two for now. But basically what this card holds, the information on it, is all your updates to, you know, the... Um, the game updates. So on that raw on that SD card right now is 1.05 update of the pinball of Kiss, and it, I guess it also ins uh, installs on it like the boot section of the pinball machine. So it's like the code of the operating system of um, when the pinball machine boots up. So these cards go bad sometimes, and you know, it's just good to maybe have a backup of it, of the image, in case the, the card ever goes bad and you want to buy a new card and do it yourself instead of going through Stern and calling them up and having to get a new card, waiting days to get the card. You go to Best Buy, get a new Kingston card, I believe that's what they use now, and um, just go and reload the image back onto the card and you'll be up and running within, you know, a couple hours. So what we're going to do is to take the card out, you kind of just push it down until you hear it click. And then it kind of snaps up like that. And then you kind of just pull it out like that. And that's it. And then what we're going to do is go to the computer and download a piece of software that, that actually creates an image of what's on this to allow you to restore it to a new card. Um, you know, if this card ever was to go bad. And then there's also on the side of this card, I don't know if I can really get in on the card without losing. Um, focus but on this side over here there's a little tab I don't know if people know about this but on an SD card this is the right protect on it so if you flick it up it I think that either that locks it I think and if you flick it down that unlocks it so when you put it back in the system you want it unlocked because then it'll allow the new image to write to it when you uh, have a new update that comes out from Stern but to do this um, what we're going to do now, I'm just peeling the sticker off back to see, yeah, lock is up. So right now in the, in the position that it's in, that's unlocked. So if we click it up, that means it's locked. Now nothing could write to it. But for what we're going to do now, we're going to lock it because I don't want anything to write to this, this card because that card is still good. I'm just doing this for this purpose to show everybody how to create a new image. But again, when you put it back in the system, you want that to be down towards the bottom of the card of where you put it back in so any new image is allowed to be written back to it so for now again we'll just leave it on the lock position so I'm going to bring it upstairs and we're going to go on the computer and download um, dump this image to my computer and download that image to a new card so we have a backup okay so what we're going to do now is take the image from the SD card from the pinball machine and save it to our desktop. So how we're going to do that is we're going to create a new folder called KISS. And um, what we're going to do now is open up a program called HDD Raw Copy 1.10 Portable. So when we open up this, uh, we have the SD card already in the machine in my computer. I have an SD card reader and the SD, ca SD card from the pinball machine is coming up as N as in Nancy so what we're going to do now is find N because that's going to be the source file of what we want to create to the computer so again on the SD card that I have in my machine it's right protected like I showed in the video when I took it out of the machine of the pinball machine so nothing can get written to it I gotta emphasize that you know, you could do a lot of damage to your SD card if you don't have it protected or you write something to the SD card. You can mess up everything that's on that card. So you want to be very, um, very detailed in what you're doing here and make sure you kind of watch what you're doing because you don't want to mess anything anything up over here. You want to be very, um, you know, very safe and, you know, that you don't ruin any anything on that card because then the pinball machine won't boot. So basically what we're going to do now is the source file, and again that's the N card that's in the machine as of now from the pinball machine, and that's USB generic SD MMC N colon. So I'm going to highlight that and hit continue. 
Now it's going to ask for the uh, the target, and where the target is is this folder right here that we created, Kiss. So it's going to say File. So we're going to double click that to open it. Now it's going to ask you where were you, you know, what are you looking for? So if we go to Desktop and go to Kiss, which is this right here, that's where we want to write our file to from the SD card we pulled out of the pinball machine. So we're going to call that Kiss. 1.05 because that's the newest firmware of what I have on that SD card as of now. So we're going to name it that file, hit save, hit and then if you go like this, desktop kiss kiss 1.05. So it's kiss and the file that's going to be written to it will be called that. So we'll hit continue, hit start. And now if we open up this folder, you'll see that the file from the SD card from the pinball machine is being written to this folder in the process that we just did it. So uh, this is going to take probably about five minutes to do from the SD card to the computer. It's a lot quicker than it is if you're trying to write once we're done and we write this file that we're creating back to a brand new SD card as a backup. Uh, that process takes a bit longer to do. That takes about a good 10 or 15 minutes. So we're going to stop the video here and I'll come back once this process is done. Okay, so now this process is done. It's 100% complete. So what we're going to do now is eject the SD card that we have in the machine from the pinball machine out of our computer. So we're going to do it the right way and eject it without just pulling it out. We're going to take the, uh, the blank SD card that we're writing to and put that in the machine. Okay, so that's in. So now that disc, that, that new SD card is gonna be in as well as the uh, pinball one was. So we're gonna X out of that, X out of this, reopen this software again, this HDD raw copy. So now what we're going to do is take this image file that we created from the original SD card from the pinball machine and now take that and put it into the SD card, the blank one that we're going to have as a backup. So how we do that is this is going to be your source file. So this is says source. So we're going to go to file down here and uh, we're going to Click, double click on that, go to our KISS folder, highlight that, hit open, hit continue. Now the target is going to be this SD card, the new one we put in, the blank one. And that's going to be this right here, USB generic SD MMC N colon. And we're going to hit continue. Hit start. It's going to say all tar all data on that will be erased. It's yes. And that's it. And now it's going to write that image file that we took uh, originally from our pinball machine with all the data that's on there and write it now to the new SD card. So you'll have a backup copy, a bootable backup copy that will just be able to take this card and stick it right in the pinball machine and it'll work. So you don't have to call up Stern and get a new card and go through all that process and wait days for a new card to be sent to you. Uh, they're usually pretty good. I mean, uh, Chaz and Pat over there, they're really cool guys. Um, and they, you know, they're, they're pretty helpful with everything, but who wants to wait when your pinball machine is down or you have it, you know, and you're trying to make money on it out on the field and you have to wait for three days for a card to be sent to you, um, you know, and your machine is down or even at your house. So this is a, a nice backup before that happens to have a file on hand that you could just write to a new SD card when you need to. So we're going to let this go. This is going to take about probably about a good 15 minutes to do. And then we're going to take the new SD card and put it in the KISS pinball machine and see if it actually boots the pinball machine. Okay, so now we're back at the pinball machine. And again, we have our new uh, SD card, the blank one that we re-imaged. And again, you want it to be where you put it back in. There's this little like, you know, 
notch on the side here, this little yellow tab, you want it all the way down, that means it's unlocked. You want it to be unlocked so you can write new code to it when new code comes out. If you have it up, and you take your fingernail, and you press it up, that means it's locked. You don't want that. You want it to be down. So now what we're going to do is take it and put it back in the machine like that. And then we're going to see if the machine fires up with the new uh, memory stick in there with the, uh, the copied image. Okay, so now we're going to try to turn the machine on and see what it actually does with the new uh, memory stick. And that's it. So it actually it works. Uh, it boots. Uh, the operating system stayed intact. It seems all my high scores and everything saved on that. Um, the memory stick and the uh, um, updated firmware and everything else. So it seems like the game is playable, and that's how you clone your SD card inside your Spike system for a future backup. So please watch my other videos. Thanks for watching this one. Please watch my other videos on YouTube and my website, www.pinballsupernova.com. And I have a Twitter page, uh, a blog from WordPress, on WordPress, and also, again, my, uh, my videos on YouTube. So thanks for the support, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks again.